right, you guys, the F10 is done. It is completed. It is finally, finally wrapped. It came out better than I could have imagined, and I'm super excited to show you guys. But before I do, I want to take a couple of minutes and walk you through the journey and what it took to get the F10 to where it is today and what it took to finally complete this version of my F10 that I've been thinking about doing for over a year now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, so if you've been subscribed to the channel for a little while now, you probably already know that the car needed quite a bit of work before it was considered wrap ready. There were several dents and scuffs along the car. There were a couple areas that were indented that needed to be repaired. And so what I decided to do is start by pulling the front bumper off. And once I had it off, I was able to start chipping away at repairing the parts of the bumper that were damaged, along with shaving not only the side reflectors, but the headlight washer covers as well as the front tow hook cover. Now, once I had the front bumper finished, I decided to move along to the rest of the car that needed work. Prior to my ownership, both the front and rear bumper had quite a bit of damage to them. And so once the front bumper was completed and painted, I moved on to the rear bumper. It needed quite a bit of work, but after about an afternoon's worth of sanding and bondoing, I was able to get a rear bumper to a place where I figured it was good enough to be wrapped. Thankfully, I was able to start chipping away and start getting a lot of the uh, car done on my own. Now you'll see in these clips that it was pretty rinse and repeat, no pun intended. The car had been sitting outside for quite a while, so pretty much every time I got to a new panel, I would wash that panel off, I would clay bar it to get it prepared, and then I would wrap it, and I had to do that process for every single panel on the car because I wasn't able to wrap the car in one big go. I pretty much did a panel or two a day until I finally got it all completed. So there was quite a few instances where I almost gave up on wrapping the car. This particular skill is not one that I was familiar with and now having done my entire car I could say without a doubt it's I mean just like anything else it is a skill and it is not necessarily easy it is not difficult to mess up either you could you could very quickly and very easily mess up hours worth of progress unfortunately for me because I hadn't done it before panels were not quick it did not take me a short amount of time like I said I did about one or two panels a day and that's spending probably five six seven hours a day on the panel now not all of that was wrapping the car some of that was prepping and cleaning and clay barring but it was not necessarily easy and there were many times throughout this process where i almost gave up and it wouldn't have gotten done in the time that it had gotten done but thankfully i just continued chipping away i did what i could i filmed what i could and i'm happy to show you guys the end result so if you made it through this i appreciate you following along with what it took to get the car where it is today enjoy the final result. So that wraps it up. Yeah, man, I ended up going with Satin Dark Gray by 3M and it came out amazing, man. I, I'm a huge, huge fan. It's definitely not the first time I've seen this color on an F10, but I think this color makes the car look really, really aggressive. And just having the car all one color and adding the um, side view mirror caps, the like carbon overlaid ones with a little more aggressive like winglet in there. I, the car looks really good, man. I'm stoked on it. I hope you're stoked on it. Like I was saying before, this kind of wraps up this version of the F10. The F10 content's not done yet, but we're getting there. Um, I have a couple things in mind, and again, I don't really think having the F10 and the Porsche is the move. So we're gonna see, but for now, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. This has been a long, long, long time coming. So if you stuck around this whole time, I appreciate it. I'd love to hear what you think about the car and uh, please consider subscribing if you liked any of what you saw. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.